guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about what I would buy for a thousand dollars at Sephora because it's fun. So uh, let's get into it. The first thing on my wish list is this Patrick Ta Major Dimension eyeshadow palette because it's just so natural and I want to try Patrick Ta as a brand, as a... <laughs> As a, as a brand altogether because I've never tried anything from them so uh, I would love to start with this one because uh, I know that people have said amazing things about this eyeshadow palette and I really do want to try it I don't know if it's gonna worth the price because it's a little too pricey for my taste but uh, yeah this is definitely something I want to try. Next up we have uh, a big eyeshadow palette from Ben McGrath. It's the new Mothership uh, 9 eyeshadow palette, Utopian Dream. This eyeshadow palette just speaks to me. Like, it's everything I want in a palette, so uh, yeah, I think $125 it's kind of crazy, but uh, look how beautiful this is. Like, it's just so it's just so pretty. And uh, I've heard great things about the brand. I've tried um, uh, a mini uh, quad actually from the brand. I wasn't so impressed, but maybe this one is gonna change my mind. This is just beautiful, and I've been obsessed with this. This looks amazing in photos. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, I really want to try that. Uh, the next thing is uh, the new face palette from uh, Charlotte Tilbury. The Super Nude uh, Bronze Sculpt and Glow face palette. I don't think I can say, say that name. Can I say it? I don't know. I'm not taking any chances. Uh, and is this one or this one or whatever. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to add the picture. I think this just... <sighs> looks so pretty and I've always wanted to try Charlotte Tilbury I think uh, this is gonna be a video of brands I really want to try because I never got around to trying them because one I don't have them at my local Sephora uh, two I uh, don't uh, have uh, the money to get everything that I would want so uh, yeah uh, and uh, yeah this is definitely something that I would love to try it's it's just beautiful and uh, it's really pretty and Charlotte Tilbury as a brand is something that I really want to try but uh, I'm waiting uh, for my local Sephora to to bring those uh, to bring the brand in because I'm not paying customs and fees and shipping for anything so next up we have an eyeshadow palette that I'm really bummed I didn't get I think uh, on uh, on the Sephora website in the US it's still available uh, it's the Metropolis uh, Metropolis Metropolis eyeshadow palette from Natasha Denona this one I have no words like look at the picture here or here <laughs> look at the picture and tell me that this is it, this isn't something that you would love in your collection I don't know why, I think I know why, because I was broke at the time, but um, $129, it's, it's pricey, but um, I would love to have this one, and I know that so many people raved about this, like uh, even now on Instagram, because this one came out about two years ago, even now on Instagram people are obsessed with these, so um, yeah. I, I really want it. I really do want it. Next up we have uh, something else from Charlotte Tilbury, uh, the Airbrush Matte Bronzer, because I've actually seen people finish the bronzer. So to get something that so many people love that I know, I, I'm pretty sure, not, I don't know for sure that it's going to be a good bronzer, but from the reviews and everything, it seems like made in heaven. I don't know. Uh, it's just so beautiful. Also the packaging from Charlotte Tilbury. I I have no words. The packaging is everything. And uh, yeah, I really want to try this. And $55. It's, it's, it, it's kind of much. Another thing that I want to try is the Airbrush Flawless uh, Longwear Foundation. 
Um, I don't know, I have dry skin and I've heard that uh, it's not that good for dry skin but also I've heard that it is okay for dry skin. I, I don't know, I'm not sure but uh, I would like to, to try this. Also another thing that I would like to try is the Armani foundation but yeah I didn't add it uh, in my in my wish list because I've only I only wanted to add one foundation so uh, yeah this is uh, the one that I really want to try another thing that I'm really curious about is this hourglass veil veil mineral primer I've heard so many good things about this that I would get it like this. But we actually don't have hourglass uh, where I live. The beauty of living in Europe. We do have uh, some things from hourglass, the blush and the uh, ambient light or something. But it's, uh, it's a travel size. So yeah, we don't have anything else from, uh, from hourglass. Uh, and I really want to try the brand, especially the face palettes that uh, trio of face palettes, uh, of face uh, powders. <laughs> I really want to try that. Uh, also the Christmas uh, edition. I'm really bummed that it's not inclusive and uh, perfect for every skin tone. That is something they have to work on. But uh, I really, I, I would love, I would love to try that. But I would love for them to be more inclusive. Like, why not? It's 2021. Like, why? Uh, and yeah, I have... I'm a little iffy about the brand. <laughs> Another thing that I want to try, and I, I think I'm gonna get this because it's... it's... like in my price range, uh, is the Rare Beauty uh, Stay Vulnerable Melting Cream Blush. I really like the way it looks. So I think uh, the packaging is so pretty and unique. It's something different than what I've seen, and I really like it. Uh, I don't know what shade, but uh, sometimes, uh, sometime in the future, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try this blush because it's, uh, it's really pretty, and I do wanna give it a go. Another blush that I wanna try is the one from Pat McGrath uh, Skin Fetish Divine Powder Blush, that looks just divine, <laughs> uh, and uh, I've, uh, I've heard many people rave about this. Uh, it's a little pricey, like I said, everything is kind of pricey in my wish list because this is why it's a wish list. Uh, it's $38 and uh, I, f I feel like it's gonna be everything I wanted in a blush, but yeah, I don't know. Uh, I think they brought this in at my Sephora, I'm not sure, but I think so. I think uh, we have it online. I'm not sure, uh, but yeah, I want to try that. Something that I'm really bummed that it's not at my uh, at my store. It's uh, the um, uh, Moondust uh, eyeshadow, like single eyeshadows, um, and uh, it's from their new collection, like Moondust Urban Decay. It's Space Cowboy. They have all type of sh uh, all type of shades, uh, and uh, I really want to get like two or three because it's twenty two dollars so it's it's okay it's fine but I'm so mad that they don't have that at my Sephora because we do have Urban Decay and we have uh, crappy palettes from Urban Decay but we don't have this one the moon dust formula is the only thing I love from Urban Decay is my everything. I love the Party Favor eyeshadow palette. Uh, this one is just divine. And uh, I want to get uh, I want to get some singles because uh, I'm uh, I'm going to finish one of the shades and I want to get something similar, but they don't have it and I'm I'm so annoyed by, th by that and yeah, another eyeshadow palette I want to try is the Viseart Grande Pro Volume 2 eyeshadow palette. Uh, it's the $175 uh, palette and it's all shimmers. And it's everything I ever wanted in a palette, like, ever. If I would get this one, I would be set for life. <laughs> I don't know about the formula, I've heard that uh, it's a tricky formula and you have to, to work with it, but 
I, I want this eyeshadow palette. I, I really do. I really do want it. And I'm so bummed that I didn't get it when I wa when it was at my uh, at my store. And I don't know. I don't know why I skipped. I skipped it. Uh, it was it was kind of pricey. Like I said, it was pricey. I think this is <laughs> this was one of the reasons. But yeah, I'm so sad about this. And it's not available anymore. And I think it was discontinued, and uh, I can't uh, order it from um, from the Sephora in the U.S. because uh, the customs are just not worth it. The taxes and everything are just not worth it. And uh, also, I can't really get anything from the Sephora website in the U from the U.S. because they don't deliver in Europe where I live. So. That's fine. Uh, another thing from Charlotte Tilbury that I want to try is the Airbrush Fa Flawless Finish Setting Powder because everyone was raving about this and uh, I really do want to try it. I'm not a big powder person, but I would love to try this. I mean, why not? I think it would be a good purchase. Another thing that I've been obsessed with since uh, the moment uh, I laid eyes on it uh, on online is the Dior Forever Couture Luminizer Highlighter Powder. Is the cushion packaging and everything is just so beautiful. I really want to see it uh, at the store because I, I haven't been to Sephora in in a while and uh, I really want to see it live. Like I really want to I really want to see it and possibly get it. I don't know, forty-eight dollars for an, for a highlighter. It's it's it, it's too much. But it's so pretty. But I'm getting it for the packaging. It's it's just beautiful. I want to try it. So this is why it is on my wish list. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna question it. A palette that I had my eye on since like forever is the Glam Eyeshadow Palette from Natasha Denona and. I don't know why I skipped this one at first, but I really want to get it. I'm, I think I'm going to get it for this holiday season because it's just so beautiful and the formula is just good. Like, it's a good formula. I swatched it in the store and you can you can tell that it's going to be a good formula just by feeling the, the texture. I love the shimmers. I think one of the reasons why I hesitated is because these are so similar to each other and I already have the Sultry from ABH. You can't get it anymore, so that's so that sucks. But um, yeah, this is uh, on this has been on my wish list for for a while. <laughs> Another brand that I really want to try is the Nars uh, Nars brand because we don't have Nars. Also, another brand that we don't have. Uh, and it's the Summer Solstice eyeshadow palette. I really want to try the eyeshadow formula. I don't know, and uh, maybe a blush. I don't know if I want to try anything else from the brand. Maybe a, fo a foundation. I can talk, sorry. Maybe a foundation. I don't know. But the primary thing that I want to try from the brand uh, is their. Uh, eyeshadow formula because the eyeshadow palettes look so pretty every time I see them on Instagram and I just want to try the brand to see what it's about. I don't think it's gonna be the best formula or whatever but uh, I just want to try it <laughs> uh, and uh, I think uh, this uh, I did uh, uh, I don't know the total is a ha uh, one thousand and thirteen dollars so I'm $13 over budget, but I'm fine with that. Uh, and uh, yeah, this is my fantasy dream card from Sephora. would love to hear what you would get, like if you're interested in what I would get. I don't know, $1,000, it's fine, it's okay. Like I would love that. I would love to have that type of money to go into Sephora and buy just everything I wanted. Uh, I want to uh, uh, from my wish list, so um, that's 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 the dream. <laughs> uh, and uh, yeah, like and subscribe if you want to, and see you next time. Bye.